Welcome to First Word, striving to make God's Word your first priority today. Romans 2, 6-16 God will render to each one according to his deeds, eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish, on every soul of man who does evil, of the Jew first and also the Greek, but glory and honor and peace to everyone who works what is good, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For there is no partiality with God. For as many as have sinned without the law will also perish without the law, and as many as have sinned in the law will be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just in the sight of God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For when Gentiles, who do not have the law, by nature do the things in the law, these, although not having the law, are a law unto themselves, who show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and between themselves their thoughts accusing or else excusing them. In the day when God will judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. God's judgment will always be without favoritism. It does not matter what nationality, social status, or family, God's standard for judgment does not change. When God judges, He knows all the secrets of men, and as we have learned before, His judgment will be done righteously. This judgment will be according to my gospel. When one, through the regeneration of the Holy Spirit, places their faith in Jesus, death, burial, and resurrection, to pay the penalty of their sin and appease the wrath of God, their life will be changed. The motivation of their life goes from serving Satan to serving God. Therefore, this passage is in correlation with verse in Matthew chapter 7, verses 16 and 20. You will know them by their fruits. Paul just took the time to explain some of these fruits and what they are revealing regarding one future. Those who continually do good and seek for glory, honor, and immortality will receive eternal life. John tells us that eternal life is knowing the only true God and His Son, Jesus Christ. For those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but unrighteousness, they will receive indignation, wrath, tribulation, and anguish for all eternity. So we have the opportunity to evaluate as we stand before God in judgment what motives will be revealed. Will we be found to be self-seeking, having never responded in obedience to the faith? In 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5, Paul challenged the Corinthians, Examine yourselves as to whether you're in the faith. Test yourselves. I hope that each one of you hearing this today will indeed evaluate their standing before our holy God. Thank you for joining us at First Word.